Well, if you can see through the glare, there it is. Well, there is a digital HD air antenna. We have dropped cable. Well, I did that well, a couple years ago. My wife just dropped DISH, her satellite provider. Having problems with them too. So we've got ourselves a nice, uh, what is it, about $40, $50 uh, antenna. I can't remember the name of it. Of course, I've you know, already get the thing up. I throw the box away and uh, <laughs> can't remember what it was called, but I'll put that in the description. But yeah, we got this on a 30-foot pole, which is already attached to a 4x4. And I uh, got it aimed at about 32 degrees, because for the Charlotte, North Carolina area, that's what's recommended for my locale. So, we've already got it up. We've got the cable run down. It is powered. You can probably see the red light, maybe. Well, there's a red light on there. Uh, so it is a powered antenna. So it'll help pick up additional channels on the air. So I'll show you what we've done up in my attic. I'm about to add a couple of better splitters because I think I got a splitter issue and I'm not getting all the channels that I should be getting. So I'll show you what we got here in the attic and also in my panel in the wall. All right, so I got my flashlight hanging here. Uh, this is my panel. It's a bit of a mess. Of course, I've disconnected pretty much all the cable and satellite connections from the box since they're not being used anymore. And we've got a splitter in here. It's a Regal splitter, but it's not powerful enough megahertz-wise. At least that's what we're thinking. So I've got a new Omega three-way splitter. Get it here. All right, it is a 5 by 2400 megahertz. This one's only a 5 by 1000. So we're hoping that'll, you know, changing out the three way splitter will um, alleviate some of the problem that I've with the channels that I'm not getting. So I'll go ahead and take this one out and install the new one. Okay, real quick, I don't know if this thing will focus in, but this three way splitter, it's basically good for, of course, your normal, you know, for three TVs, VCRs, and DVD players or whatever tuners, um, but uh, yeah, it's basically five megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. Um, of course, this comes from Canada, so it's even got it in French here for you. But uh, yep, that's basically what I've got: is uh, three TVs, uh, living room, bedroom, and one at my desk. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get this hooked in. All right, we are connected in. Look, you can tell. So I got one I'm going to go ahead and put in the attic. I'll piece all this back together later. I just want to test it out first. So let's head to the attic next. All right, this is the other splitter that's basically coming in from the antenna and splitting it two directions. One basically for the house and the other one that's looped here is heading to the mega shed. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this two-way out and put this three way in even though I'm not going to use all three outs just the two so I'll go ahead and swap this out and um, that should do it then we'll do a channel test all right it is in place and connected so now we'll go and uh, check the channels see how many I can find Whew, hot up here Okay, I already got a couple channels here. So now we're well, let me the will one. mute that. We don't want to have any issues there. So now we'll go to picture, and actually I think we're going to input. Yeah, TV. Well, menu. How do I do this? Settings, tuner, antenna, auto channel scan. So let's do that. See how many we find here. Three digital. I'm hoping I get close to 30. That's that's what I should have is around 27 to 30. Up to six. Uh, 
Well, let's take a little bit. We'll wait till we get to the end. Well, over 80%. We found 27 channels so far. Looks good. Doesn't look like we're going to get any more than that. Nope. That's it. 27 channels. Oh well. Good enough, I guess. So, yep. I guess the key there is to get the uh, antenna high enough. And of course, you know, walk back outside. Get that antenna high enough, you see we got a bunch of trees around. So, that's an issue. But, in the fall and winter, when all these leaves are gone, we might catch a few more. So, I'll try to maybe do an update on that if, uh, if I do get any more channels. So, there you go. And, you know, like I said, I'll find out the name of this antenna that we used and uh, add that to the description. So, hope that helps if you're looking to drop cable and uh, satellite. Save some money. Get free digital uh, channels. So, there you go. Adios.